Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Dose and in this video we will see the rotate matrix problem which is from lead code number 48. You can go there and practice. In this problem we will see how to rotate a matrix or an image by 90 degrees in a clockwise direction. So this is a matrix rotation problem. At the end of the video we will discuss all possible type of follow up problems so stick with the video till the end. You must be knowing the directions of clockwise and anti-clockwise I need not tell you this. I would like to announce about our DSA live training program which will guarantee understanding of every programming concept. It makes you interview ready in just 3 months and it will maximize your offers so that you get the best possible pay and in the best possible company you can. All the sessions will be live interactive sessions so you will get the feel of a live class and you can ask all your doubts throughout the class. In order to get more details please whatsapp us on this given number. Let us now look at the problem statement. In this problem we are given an M by N matrix. The first example which I have taken is a square matrix. In this case if I rotate it by 90 degrees in the clockwise direction then you will see that this first row will become the last column right. And uh, and uh, similarly this one will become the first row and uh, you can imagine about it you can also write it or you can have a view in this direction you can view in this direction and uh, you will see that 741 will be the first row 852 will be the second row and 963 will be the third row. So from the given matrix we want to reach to our goal matrix okay which is the target it is the rotated form okay now there are a number of techniques in which you can solve this problem rotation of 90 degrees but you should be extra careful not to pick something which is less optimal we have majorly two different types of techniques one is in place and another one is out of place now when we talk about out of place algorithm then if you take extra space like let's say if i say that i will be copying this this column in a extra space let's say in an array and then I will override this part with 1, 2 and 3 and then I will save this one in an extra space and then the previous saved value will be overwritten here as 3, 6 and 9. So if you use such kind of a technique which uses extra space then that is known as out of place algorithm and uh, this is not recommended. This is not recommended whenever you have an in place algorithm for the same problem. So this is considered more optimal right without any space complexity. Hence in this problem we will look at in place algorithm to solve this problem. Now let us look at an example and try to understand what is the technique. Now I am taking the same example first which is a square matrix in this case and uh, the technique is just a two step process. We have to find the transpose of the matrix and then we have to reverse the rows if you remember this is very simple technique now how to do the transpose the transpose is nothing but if you replace this a at ij element with a at ji element that means if you convert the columns to rows and you convert the rows to columns i mean it's the transpose matrix so let's see if i make this first column the first row if i make the second column the second row and if I make the third column the third row then it is known as the transposed matrix. I will show you the code just on the next page. So if you know how to transpose this then you just have to reverse all the rows. So if you reverse this row 147 then this will be 741. Similarly 258 can be reversed to 852 and 369 can be reversed to 963. If you do this then you have actually rotated your given square matrix to 90 degrees in the clockwise direction right this is what we wanted now in this case the space complexity is order of one because this is an in place algorithm now if we consider a rectangular matrix instead of a square matrix the technique will be the same but then you have to take extra care while solving for rectangular matrix let's see if you have a 3 by 4 matrix then if you transpose it becomes a 4 by 3 matrix that is if you transpose an m by n matrix then this becomes a n by m matrix you have to be careful about this once you are done with this you just have to reverse the rows so the steps are exactly the same but if you see while doing the transpose if you take the array size as 3 by 4 only then you do not have space here this will be considered out of bounds and you can get a segmentation fault or memory error for this so when you want to place 
your item four at this position then you don't have this position right you have to create the array size accordingly it should be of sufficient size how do i know what should be the sufficient size of the array it should be the maximum of your row comma column so if i take it will be four so the size of the matrix should be four by four so that in whatever way you rotate actually nothing will go out of bounds so you should take care of this so the dimension of the array should be t by t where t is equals to maximum of your row count comma column count so for rectangular matrix you have to take this extra precaution now let us look at the code uh, in this code this is an api about rotating 90 degrees clockwise this is just a pseudo code in this case you get the array uh, with m rows and n columns the first piece of code is just uh, swapping like i'm just going through all the cells one by one and uh, this is for all the rows and this is for all the columns and i'm swapping a at ij with a at gi right so in if you consider this as the matrix then i'm just processing this part of the diagonal that is just on the top part one half of the diagonal and swapping it with the other half so this will actually convert your matrix a to a transpose matrix and uh, once this is done we can just iterate over all the rows so this is for the rows one row at a time and then if this is the given row then i can take a left pointer and a right pointer using the two pointer technique and i can swap this value a with b right i can swap this value and then i can increment the left pointer and i can decrement the right pointer and again whatever is the next value they can be swapped as well and this will continue until this left becomes greater than equals to your r i hope you understand this so this is that part okay so reversing all the rows now this is for for each row for all the rows one by one right so this is the entire code i think this is very easy there are other techniques to solve this problem uh, but this is one of the easiest and you can use this technique to solve any kind of follow-up problems now what can be the follow-up problem let's say the follow-up problem can be uh, if you are asked to rotate 90 degrees in the clockwise direction uh, then you can be asked as a follow-up question of what if you are asked 90 degrees anti-clockwise direction then how to do that anti-clockwise is just the opposite or you can be asked about 270 degrees anti-clockwise and by the way 270 degrees anti-clockwise and this 90 degrees clockwise is one and the same you can also be asked about if you have solved the problem with an out of place algorithm then you can be asked about a better approach so a better approach would be the one which doesn't take up any space so your space complexity should be order of one in this case our time complexity was order of m into n with no space complexity because this was in place algorithm one of the best in the next video we will uh, discuss in detail about these follow-up problems as well if you want to get the pdf of this entire lecture then you can join the telegram channel and the link will be in the description below if you want to do a structured interview preparation one-on-one -on -one or in a group then you can connect me over whatsapp or instagram see you guys in the next video thank you